We are born to be praised and we exist to praise ourselves and others. This truth should be one of the guidelines for us, answering to follow. Thank you. Think people are in born to be praised. With this belief in mind, Hara Kunio, the founder of the praise-based education called Homeiku, developed a method to educate people by praising them. He is the representative director of the Homeiku Foundation and delivers speeches in countries around the world, including five times on TEDx Talks. In 2021 and 2022, his speeches were the most viewed online for the year. On one day, every year, let's call it Homeiku Day, you will be able to see people praising each other online or on TV. Hara delivered a speech at a gathering of 150 UN officials and healthcare professionals from various countries. His speech led to his registration as an expert with UNESCO Inclusive Policy Lab. He also appeared as an online speaker at the World Education Summit. The Homeiku advocated by Hara is being utilized in companies to train human resources. This firm, working in petroleum sales and distribution, introduced Homeiku eight years ago. They conduct meetings once a month. Employees write down specific actions worthy of praise on paper and present them directly to the individual in the group. They express gratitude and share what they admire, which might not always be conveyed in daily interactions. Omeiku is also utilized in daily work. This is a checklist of over 50 actions aimed at achieving goals and sales targets. All employees share clear criteria for praise, such as smiling and greeting colleagues during work. They praise actions that contribute to the company's growth and goal achievement. However, actions contrary to these criteria are addressed with guidance and attention. President Fuji was troubled by the high turnover of young employees and witnessed a transformation among them after introducing Homeiku. Over 500 companies in Japan have implemented Homeiku, and almost all of them have seen a decrease in turnover rates and an increase in performance as a result. Homeiku has also spread to Japan's schools. At the request of the Kurashiki City Board of Education in Okayama Prefecture, a lecture was delivered for newly appointed teachers. In the entrance exams for universities for those aspiring to become educators, questions were asked what students thought of Homeiku. There is a kindergarten that introduced Homeiku as early as 2017. Here, teachers and parents write down the remarkable words and actions of the children on paper once a month and post them on the walls. This practice nurtures the children's self-esteem. The children not only receive praise, but also learn the importance of praising others, expressing gratitude, and offering support. 
ゃあ拍手をすると嬉しいっていうお話があったよねじゃあなんで園長先生は拍手が大事だよって今まだできない子に対してもあの優しくっていうよりも絶対できるよっていうようなこう自信のある声かけとかなんかただなでなで慣れ合いの言葉で優しくしてるんじゃなくて絶対できるよ僕も頑張ったんだよっていうようなそういう声かけでなんか相手を本当に心から励ますそんなことができるようになってるなと思ってます。And what do the mothers of the children think about it? メイクだったのか、うん、ね、成功体験、成功体験、自己肯定感の積み上げですね。できると思ってる、うん、何でもやればできるみたいな、うん。やるかやらないかだったら絶対やる方を取る感じ。うん、そうそうそうそう<笑>そういつか絶対ホームランも打つし、なんだったらプロ野球の選手もなるくらい思ってやってるぐらい。ホメイクエデュケーション、aims to enhance children's self-esteem by accumulating successful experiences like this。Hara is spreading Homeiku in the education sector due to his connection with the museum associated with Ohara Magosaburo, who was involved in child welfare along with Hara's great grandfather. Inspired by this legacy, Hara wanted to contribute to education. My first goal is to improve Homeiku. This word is important to me. で子どもたちやそしてその大人たちが自信を持って自尊心を持って、まあ、日本中世界中にね飛び立っていってほしいなと思ってます